Все, начинаем. Mm -hmm. Dear colleagues, as the technical break is over, we are starting our meeting. Are you ready? Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Allow me to consider open the meeting of the Dissertation Council of the Defense of Viktor Petrov's dissertation for the degree of the Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences and the Scientific Specialization, Mathematical Logic, Algebra, uh, Number Theory, and Discrete Mathematics on the topic, Motivic Methods in the Theory of Algebraic Groups in the Homogeneous Varieties. According to the word of uh, Alexander Gnotov, um, me, Vostok of Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences. Was appointed the chairman of this dissertation council and by the same order, the members of the dissertation council were approved. Mikhail Bandarka. Mikhail Bandarka, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Associate Professor, Faculty of Mathematics and Computer Sciences. Can you see and hear us? Michael, can you see and hear us? Yes, I, I can. Can you see and hear us? Yes, I can see and hear you. The answer is positive. Alexander Generalov. Yes, I can see you. Uh, Nikolai Gordeev. Yes, I can see you. Merkuriev. Alexander Merkuriev, professor of the University of California at Los Angeles. I'm here. I can see and hear and hear you. He is with us. He is here with us. Petrov and uh, Generalov. Can you see him? You forgot about uh, Ivan Arzantsev. Arzantsev? Is he here with us? Yes, I can see and hear you. And dear applicants, can you send hear us? Yes, I can. Victor Petrov is here with us. Our meeting is in the remote interactive mode. And uh, is there an opportunity to continue our meeting, dear colleagues? Mikhail Bandarka, do you agree? Generalov, yes, I agree. Arjansev, what is your opinion? Yes, we uh, can continue. Uh, Nikolai Gardeev. The answer is positive. Alexander Merkuriev. Yes, we can continue our meeting. And taking into account the opinion of uh, 
the opinion of the board members. We continue our meeting. And our applicants uh, in the remote interactive modes, so the opinion is accepted by the majority of voices. And our scientific advisor is also in the remote, uh, remote interactive mode, Nikolai Vavilov. Professor of the Faculty of Mathematics and Computer Sciences, uh, in order to improve the quality of communication, I ask you, dear colleagues, to turn off your microphones, but do not forget to turn them on when you are given the floor. I also inform you that audio and video recording of our meeting is being conducted as well as live broadcast on the St. Petersburg University website. Simultaneous interpretation of speeches from Russian into English is being provided. An email address is posted on the live broadcast of the meeting of the Distillation Council, where during the meeting all listeners can express their opinions and send questions to the applicant online concerning his dissertation and the current scientific discussion of his speech. These questions will be forwarded to me by the technical services, and I will voice them during the discussion. Questions must be related to the applicant's presentation and the content of his dissertation and the name, position, and place of work of the author of the question must be indicated. Questions that are not related to the scientific discussion, to the discussion of the dissertation, to the text and assessment of dissertation itself will not be voiced. In accordance with the procedure for awarding the academic degree of candidate of sciences, academic degree of Doctor of Sciences and St. Petersburg University approved by local regulations of St. Petersburg University. A meeting of the Distation Council is considered eligible if at least two-thirds of the approved membership of the Council takes part in its work, but not less than four people. Our Distation Council consists of six people. Six members are present. In Uh, thus, there is a quorum, uh, as the employee of the Department of Supporting the Activities of Dissertation Councils, to issue an attendance sheet. The procedure of today's meeting of the Dissertation Council, with total durations of approximately two hours, is the following. Number one, a brief report of the chairman of, uh, on the documents submitted by the applicant for a scientific degree and their compliance with the established requirements. Answers to possible questions. Then a short presentation by the applicant <coughs> reflecting the main points of his research, approximately 20 minutes. Questions to the applicant, strictly according to his report, no more than two minutes per question. Answers of the applicant, no more than 15 minutes for all questions. Speeches of all members of the dissertation council, in turn, the assessment of the dissertation research uh, uh, with questions and suggestions for the dissertation, about 10 minutes per speaker. The speech of the chairman with uh, the review, about 10 minutes. Answers of the applicant for a scientific degree, uh, no more than uh, 20 minutes of open discussion, speeches at the request of those present at the defense of the dissertations with a summary of their positions and uh, uh, proposals for the dissertation strictly on the topic of the research, no more than two minutes for everyone. At the same time, all interested people are requested to register in the registration form and completely introduce themselves before their performance. Presentation by the chairman of questions addressed to the applicant, which came in the order to discuss his speech and scientific discussion on the broadcast of the meeting of the dissertation council on the St. Petersburg University website. Written questions, uh, which take more than uh, one minute, so won't be voiced. Answers of the applicant, no more than two minutes per question. Speech of the scientific advisor of the applicant, no more than three minutes. Discussion of the results of the defense by the members of the Distation Council before the open vote, during which the sound of the broadcast is muted about five minutes. Open roll call, counting of votes by the chairman of the Distation Council with the entry of the results into the minutes of the meeting. 
making decision on awarding or not awarding an academic degree, concluding remarks of the applicants on no more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, uh, are there any questions or objections to these regulations? If there are no objections, I will proceed to the implementation of the rules of the meeting. But before, please turn off the sound of your mobile phones. Uh, dear, co dear board members, uh, who are in the remote interactive mode, switch. Uh, uh, please don't switch uh, off your mobile phones in order to connect with you in case of technical breakdowns. Thank you for the, uh, your understanding. So I am starting to conduct the meeting. The dissertation of Mr. Petrov for the degree of the Doctor of Physical Mathematical Sciences, Specializations 115. Uh, topic motivic methods in the theory of algebraic groups in the homogeneous varieties was accepted for the defense by the order of the academic secretary, secretary from the 4th of October 2021, num number 9461-1. The number of publications of the applicant in which the main scientific results of the dissertation are stated, 13 publications, uh, there are three, 13 publications in journals, the Centimetric Data Basis Web of Science and Scopus. The, all the documents submitted by the applicant on the information are received through the curator, meet the requirements, and are stored in the applicant certification file. Their copies are held by an employee of the Department for Maintenance and the Activities of the Station Councils, uh, who is now in the hall. Before giving the floor to the applicants, uh, dear members of the decision council, I uh, do have general questions. Dear board members, I uh, do have general questions to the applicant and, and uh, if there is a necessity to announce and consider the entire list of documents submitted by the applicants uh, for the defense. No questions. Brief presentation of uh, the applicant, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, Viktor Alexandrovich, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, let me download my presentation. Distinguished Chairman, uh, dear members of the Decision Council, the topic of my dissertation, Motivic Methods and the Theory of Algebraic gro uh, Groups and Homogeneous Varieties. Let me first turn to the background uh, of this study. Uh, the concept motive uh, was introduced by Alexandra Grotendieck, uh, who noticed the different homology theories of the same variety behave in a similar way, suggesting that a variety can fall into pieces in some additive category. Uh, he did not consider his construction to be final, and therefore he did not publish any work on this topic. Uh, the first version was in the article of Yurin uh, Manin, dated from 1968, where motivic decomposition is issued to count the number of points of a cube over a finite field. Uh, the theory was first applied to homogeneous manifolds by Marcus Rost, who in an unpublished uh, but highly influential 1998 work proved the Nilpotens principle for quadrix and found a motivic decomposition of Fiste quadric. And applications were not long in coming. In 2001, Alek Tomovich is Bolzdin finds an example of a field which, uh, with an odd U invariant. And uh, in 2003, Nikita Karpenka finds possible values of the first width index of a quadric form with the help of motifs. Uh, Vishik uh, published some results, new results, on motivic decompositions of quadrics. Uh, different applications of the theory of quadratic uh, forms. And finally, in 2007, uh, Vladimir Voyevodsky and co authors published a complete proof of the Milner conjecture. It concerns the quadrix. Uh, the first work in which uh, the case of an exceptional manifold, namely a manifold with a group of actions of type G2, was uh, considered the 
in the distinction of Nikita Karpenka. The first general theory was uh, uh, expressed in Vladimir Chernousovs and Alexander Merkuriev. Uh, they proved Ross nil potency principle for an arbitrary projective homogeneous variety, as well as they found emotivic decomposition of isotropic projective homogeneous varieties. Uh, in the same year, you, using the Volonitsky Birula method, Patrick Brosnan generalized this result to the case when the group itself is isotropic and the manifold is not necessary in 2009. Sergei Nikolenka and Nikita Semenov and Kirill Zainulin found a motivic decomposition of F4 homogeneous manifolds. And uh, uh, I mentioned homolo homology oriented homology theories. Let me define this concept. Uh, we fix a ground field F, an oriented homology theory is a contravariant factor, functor from the category of smooth uh, varieties over F to the category of graded communicative rings, uh, which is also equipped with push forwards of, for projective morphemes uh, such that the following axioms hold. Push forwards must be function, factor, functorial and satisfy the projection formula and in uh, transversal uh, Cartesian uh, squares pullbacks commute with push forwards in addition to the projective bundle theorem must hold to be each allows one to define uh, churn uh, classes and some form of homology uh, hom homotopy invariants the homology theory is defined only for smooth manifolds but it can be extended by a borel mu into non-smooth manifolds. We require that, as in uh, Cho theory, an exact localization sequence uh, can be satisfied. Moreover, the theory must be, in a certain natural sense, constant on the spectra of the fields. Here, the extension to non-smooth uh, case is applied. There is a technical uh, axiom. It means the theory uh, the same for uh, different fields. Uh, a formal group law which satisfy the requirements of associativity and communicativity and Quillen observed that in the context of algebraic topology, the oriented uh, homology theory defines a formal group law. Let us give examples. Joe theory corresponds to an additive uh, formal group law, K theory. Multiplicative there for convenience, a formal but element of degree minus one is introduced. Uh, Levin and uh, Morel correspond to the universal formal group law over the Lazard ring. Marava K theory corresponds to the formal group law of height n. This means that the first term of the formal sum P times of a variable with itself will be this variable to the power of P to the power of n multiplied by the formal coefficient. Uh, 
and uh, Lazar ring is universal and this allowed to define free cohomology theories as tensor products of algebraic cobodism over the Lazar ring and the coefficient ring. We fix formal group laws. The corner Floyd theorem states that the Joe theory and K theory are free. For objective um, uh, multiplicative communicative law, uh, we define the Marava K theory as the free theory with the formal group law of a given height. Let's move on to the category of motives. Let's first define the correspondences. Uh, informally, it can be understood that the graph of a function corresponds to the usual morphism of manifolds. And in the category of correspondences, we refuse single values, uh, valueness. This composition of correspondences is defined as follows. The definition involves pullbacks and push forwards along partial projections onto the factors and the product is uh, cohomology theory. Uh, the objects will uh, be pairs from a manifold and an integer for multi shift and morphemes are defined as follows. Finally, the category of pure motifs in the Corrobization of the additive envelope of the category of correspondences. This means that we add formal direct sums and formal images of projections. Shifted point motifs are called Tate motifs. Uh, the dot motif introduces the implementations for a functor into the category of graded A, PT models. A manifold is called cellular if it has a filtration by closed subvarieties such that successive differences are isomorphic to an affine space. The motif of cellular diversity is decomposed into the sum of Tate's motifs. Let G be a split linear algebraic group of a field F and P, its polyboric subgroup. Then filtration by uh, Bruja cells defines on uh, GP, G modular P, the structure of a cellular manifold so th that the motif is decomposed into the sum of Tate motifs with shifts equal to the length of the minimal representatives of the coset classes of the group veil group uh, itself by the uh, veil group of the parabolic subgroup and chapape uh, dense forms can be considered and studied and the yepape ye modular p is a twisted form of GP. This variety has a rational point if and only when the twisted, uh, the dense form uh, of the group G contains a parabolic subgroup of type P. For example, for the case of an orthogonal group and the first parabolic subgroup, one obtains a quadric. And what can we say about the decomposition of EP motif? Uh, let us uh, consider algeb algebraic uh, closure. This endomorphic uh, ring uh, becomes core ring of the correspondence decompositions and the reflection of limitation can be considered And the motif uh, decomposition is very uh, considerable uh, here. Uh, 
Gross principle of nilpotency states that the kernel of the restriction map is nilpotent. Since projectors are lifted under homo homophism of rings with a nilpotent kernel, in order to find a motivic decomposition, it is sufficient to be able to look for projectors coming from the base or, as they say, rational ones. Uh, uh, this uh, technical definition, it is B ideal. We can localize it. Uh, let it be G tosa over the spectrum F. Then the following subset is by ideal in A. Uh, and we can factorize from it uh, and obtain the bi-algebra H. For example, for a trivial tosa, we get just A, PT. A, in the opposite case, when A equals AE equals APT, for example, for reversal tosa, the whole A, G is obtained. In the case of G equal SO, and, and uh, the Cho theory, the resulting by algebra carries the same information as the J invariant of the quadratic form defined by Alexander Vishik. Let uh, now X and Y be a smooth projective cellular with action G. Consider uh, the twisted forms. If alpha is a correspondent between them, then its realization over an algebraic closure is a homomorphism of A P T modules. Theorem one states that in fact this is also a homomorphism of H commodules. Thus the implementation functor can be considered with a value in the category of H commodules and not just A P T modules. Consider the considering the case of a complete flag variety, it corresponds to the case P B Borel subgroup theorem 2 under some additional restrictions on the commonly theory describe a motivic decomposition of this variety namely the motive decomposes into a sum of shifts of some motive r whose decompositions correspond to the decomposition of um, h as a uh, commodal over itself for example consider the case of k theory and projective linear group H is an algebra is isomorphic to an uh, truncated polynomial ring and the co-algebra co structure is given by the following formula then we can calculate the dual algebra and according to the Chinese rem uh, remainder theorem H as a commodulus over itself expands into a sum of p non isomorphic summons. Uh, this agrees with Daniel Quillen's results on the theory of the Severy Brower variety. The Cho, Cho motif is indecomposable. As another example, let's see how roast motifs are decomposed in Marava's K theory, let E be a toso corresponding to N plus one fault uh, fist form, then the structure of the algebra and co-algebra is given as follows. And again, according to the Chinese reminder theorem, H is a commodulus of itself is decomposed into some of two non-isomorphic terms. general situation, a projective homogeneal genius manifold is said to be split over a generic point and a bit translation of generically split for this entire expression if it becomes cellular over its function field. 
uh, theorem 3 gives a criterion for a manifold to be split over a generic point in terms of J variant. And uh, in this case, the motif decomposes into the sum of shifts of the same motif as for variety of complete flags. Let us now consider an arbitrary projective homogeneous variety and ask ourselves when the motif R from the decomposition of the common flag variety occurs in its motivic decomposition. In this case, the Joe theory, the answer is given in theorem 4 for this H must enter into the decomposition of the realization of this manifold at the subcomodal. It is known from Vishak's results that the motivic decomposition of an anisotropic quadric cannot have an arbitrary form. It must be coarser than the decomposition of an excellent quadric of the same di dimension. Theorem 1 says, on the other hand, that the decomposition must be coarser than the H commodulus decomposition of the implementation. Theorem 5 formulates these restrictions more explicitly. By combining these restrictions, it is uh, sometimes possible to find an explicit form of material decompositions. Let's take an example. Consider a 10-dimensional uh, anisotropic quadric with a trivial uh, discriminant and a trivial Clifford invariant. Excellent connections look like this. The connections from theorem 5 are shown on the next slide. Uh, combining them, we get uh, the, the, uh, the following. Uh, the motivic decomposition of such a quadric contains at most two terms. It can be proved uh, that uh, there are exactly two. Uh, we now turn to applications of the obtained results to algebraic groups. Uh, the statements of the following theorems do not contain any mention of motifs, but information about motive decomposition is used in the uh, proofs. Let, uh, G, uh, let G be a simply connected, simple uh, algebraic group. Uh, Marcus Ross defined an invariant of G torsos with value in the third uh, Galois uh, cohomology of some Galois module. Theorem 6 states that for the case G equals E7, the isotropy of G is to extensions of odd degree is controlled by the growth invariant. Theorem 7 contains similar results for G equals E8 and extensions of degree not divisible, divisible uh, by 3. Let D be a central simple algebra of degree 4 over field F and let uh, mu be some uh, non-zero constant in F. Theorem uh, 8 states that there uh, the exists an E7 torso with a growth invariant equal to the cup product uh, and class D is the Brouwer group. In particular, if this element cannot be decomposed into sum of two symbols with a common slot, then there exists an anisotropic strongly in a group of type E7 over F. This answers the question posed by Jackie Stitz in 1990 paper. The last theorem concerns uh, this uh, theorem concerns the construction of Tits construction uh, lay algebra, uh, algebras of type E8. Let's see be an octave algebra, for example, an eight-dimensional alternative algebra. J and L an Albert algebra, for example, a 27-dimensional exceptional journal algebra over a field F of characteristics not two and not three of characteristic not two and not, uh, not three. As I have already mentioned, the Tits construction defines the Lie algebra structure on the following direct sum. It turns out it is of type E8. Uh, theorem 9 says that if F has no extensions of odd degree and the Lie algebra L obtained by the Tits construction contains a parabolic uh, subalgebra of type P8, then it uh, automatically contains a parabolic subalgebra of type P1. Uh, 
The proof uses the results of, on the ROST invariant T7 and the theorem of sym symmetric spaces over an arbitrary field. Thus, we see that with the help of motivic methods, one can, op can obtain results related to the theory of algebraic groups and homogeneous varieties. Thank you very much for your attention. Dear colleagues, do you have any questions strictly according to the report? Dear colleagues, do you have any questions strictly according to uh, the candidate's report? No questions. If there are no questions, now the feedback of the board members with the evaluations of the dissertation research and so on. And with suggestions to the candidates, uh, questions there, and so the voicing of external uh, reviews and Dear colleagues, do you want to say anything? Um, what about the agenda? Scientific advice uh, will be given the floor later. Now the speeches of board members in turns. Uh, the feedback of board members. Any order? Mikhail Bandarka, the floor is yours. My uh, rev uh, review is positive. I'm not uh, going to read it out in detail. The dissertation is devoted uh, to different motive categories, and from my point of view, it is interesting that uh, methods allow to work with uh, different motive categories uh, rather than with uh, categories of Joe motives, which are usually uh, taken into account. Uh, what is motive? What motive is? Uh, its idea is uh, yeah, diversity. It includes diversity in the theory of uh, theory of motives. Have a great motives in considerations of parts in in the uh, case of pure motives. These parts uh, uh, mean uh, direct uh, additives. Uh, there are a lot of interesting. Uh, results how these uh, additives look like. Project, uh, projective motives of homogeneous diabetes are uh, studied in the dissertation and it makes a great contribution into the theory. And there are specific calculations in this study. And uh, besides, the results of our candidates uh, give the answers to the questions of uh, famous mathemat mathematicians. It's very pleasant. Uh, as for drawbacks, uh, there are some of them. There are a lot of capital letters in the text of the dissertation. And why uh, that's all uh, I wanted to say. And the dissertation uh, deserves uh, the degree of the uh, Doctor of Mathematical and Physical Sciences. Thank you. Then 
then uh, uh, Mr. Mercury, if the floor is yours. Uh, uh, as for the uh, uh, terminology, Uh, you see, and thank you, Alexander Merkuriev. The floor is yours. Are you here with us? The dissertation. The session consists of two parts. The first part, the theory of motives, is uh, which is uh, rooted. Uh, the second part is devoted to algebraic groups. In order to attract the study of motives, so homogeneous. Uh, homogeneity, homogeneous diversities, diversities and free fields are of high interest. These homogeneous diversities uh, are connected with automorphism, morphisms, and with the help of these methods we can calculate and study different properties big groups of automorphisms, evolutional algebra, and so on. It is uh, pleasant because there is an opportunity to apply uh, motives theory to study classical objects and obtain a brilliant results. The dissertation has a main uh, construction with uh, which is as follows any split simple group the structure of bi bi algebra then it turns out to be that the meaning of theory of uh, homogeneous diversities uh, is of comodular character and the questions of motive decompositions are closely connected with the comodal uh, decomposition it is an advantage of uh, this study uh, what's the difference between good theorem uh, and very good theorem In the text of the dissertation, there is an appendix to the theory which allow to solve uh, simple classical uh, questions. My opinion is uh, there is a strong apparatus in the dissertation, work with motives. There are a lot of appendixes and without doubt, um, Methods. So these methods will uh, find uh, uh, a lot of applications in the future, but uh, there are some uh, remarks. On the whole, we know Viktor Alexandrovich. Uh, his dissertation could have been defended several years ago. And I am glad uh, that uh, it uh, hap uh, has happened uh, now, now. And our candidate is of the degree of the Doctor of Sciences specialization, 11.115. Dear candidate, ah, Alexander Ivanovich, uh, what is your opinion? Of 
of course, I'm not going to repeat the content of the dissertation. The general overall impression is positive, uh, despite the concise uh, character of the work. There are a lot of interesting and useful things for me. I liked the attraction and consideration of the motive decomposition in, the con in this context, uh, the attraction of uh, comodal structure, co-algebra, it played uh, also Victor calls uh, uh, there are examples. Th these are general facts which work in different theories, and it proves it proves and it proves. Uh, these are not examples. Uh, uh, these are attractions of uh, general results in the context of free uh, cohomology theory, extremely ex abstract generalizations lead to a lot of appendixes of the technology uh, which is developed by our candidate. He attracts other results. E everything is successfully intersected despite a lot of results uh, of universal and general character. The work is very concise. I allowed uh, myself uh, it is my second time I have uh, it is the second time I have participated in such mode of uh, dissertation. Uh, defense. In the old system, there were three uh, doctoral supervisors, opponents, and they had to uh, uh, announce uh, drawbacks and strong points of the study. And I decided to play the role of opponent, and uh, my remarks are following. One important remark is this search uh, for references inside the work. Uh, when I uh, uh, read the work of uh, one German, I uh, saw some sections. They were numbered with the help of four uh, figures. I liked it very much. And uh, when I wrote my doctoral thesis, I uh, used uh, three uh, dimensional figures. And our candidate, for example, this sequence uh, two is on the page 22, and they cite it on pages 39 and 40, and so on. It's very difficult to uh, look for references in the text of your dissertation paper, uh, we have to uh, list in the computer mode. Uh, and it takes a lot of time to localize uh, everything. We have to uh, flick a lot of uh, pages. It's very inconvenient. There are some small drawbacks. They are connected uh, with uh, the fact that uh, the dissertation is written in two languages. Uh, at the end of my remarks, uh, there was a translation from Russian from English into Russian. Uh, the phrase was uh, distorted. Uh, for the first time, I didn't understand the meaning. And uh, when I looked into English version, I understood uh, the first 
source. But I studied bibliography. Not everyone knows. Our St. Petersburg Journal Algebra, in every issue, there is a reference. A page numbering is with uh, number one, uh, is from number one. It is necessary to uh, state the number of this journal. Please take it in, into account. When I was a young person, I faced with uh, such a, a problem. But, of course, these drawbacks don't spoil overall positive impression from the dissertation. And I'm sure that the dissertation of Viktor Petrov uh, on the uh, topic uh, conforms with the main requirements stated by the order and so on. Everything is okay. All the requirements are met and our candidate deserves the doctoral degree, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences. Alexander Manish. Uh, which journal did you mention? Algebra and Analysis. Yes, I see. I agree with uh, Alexander Merkuriev, uh, who noted several inaccuracies. The existence of the required uh, twisted shapes follows from the uh, results of. I am satisfied. Ivan Arjantsev, what is your opinion? Faculty of Computer Sciences, Moscow, Faculty of Economics. Uh, please let me read out my review. The dissertation uh, paper is devoted to the study of uh, simple linear algebraic groups and their projection homogeneous spaces over uh, free fields. And uh, our candidates obtained a range of main structural results about such groups and uh, spaces, especially there are questions, uh, answers to the questions uh, stated by, posed by Tits in 1990s and uh, Rost in 1992. The introduction contains the descriptions of uh, uh, research objects, subject, and uh, aims of work. The first uh, chapter contains preliminary data from oriented theories of homologies, theory algebraic, hobbitism and motives. Here the author reminds the main facts about projective homogeneous uh, spaces, including tosses and uh, dense forms, uh, brewer uh, decompositions and demazu operators, as well as the principles of uh, Rost Nilporans. Uh, the second chapter is devoted to the main uh, methods of this work. It, can see, uh, it is in the study of the structure of comodal on realizations of uh, dense form uh, motifs uh, connected with cell uh, projective uh, diversities, diversities with the action of semi-simple algebraic uh, group. From the specific results of this chapter, uh, I want to say that comodal structure uh, defines uh, non-decomposable decomposed uh, additive of Joe motifs according to simple a model of P projective homogeneous space isomorphic uh, non-decomposed uh, additives. Uh, in the third chapter, the developed technique is used for uh, to obtain specific results about uh, projective homogeneous 
spaces of exclusive groups of type E7 and E8. Uh, Rost invariance allows to characterize isotropic character of uh, uh, internal group of type E7 uh, with the accuracy to expansions of uh, odd odd uh, extent and group of type E8 with the uh, accuracy to expansions of uh, the uh, theorem 8 states that with the help of construction of uh, building of a group of uh, type E7 uh, against central simple algebra it allows to build an isotropic internal group of type E7. As for the drawbacks, there is uh, some uh, mixture of elementary uh, construction, uh, uh, constructions, linear uh, algebra, and uh, And the interact, interaction of these approaches is the advantage of the study. Uh, the work is uh, logical. Uh, there was one misprint uh, concerning subspace. It is uh, line 4, section 3.2.2. Uh, and uh, not all Russian terms are successful. Pull back, push forward, uh, gift, subjectivity, and so on. The results of the dissertations were published in 13 articles. The level of publications uh, proves the high professionalism of the candidate. The results which were obtained by co-authors uh, have references. In the introduction, there, are, uh, there is a list of profile conferences and workshops. To conclude the dissertations of Viktor Petrov, uh, topic motive methods in the theory of all algebraic groups and homogeneous varieties conforms with the requirements uh, stated by the order. A procedure on the Vodic academic degrees in St. Petersburg University. Are there any? I will answer the remarks. Um, uh, the preface uh, should have been more detailed. As for the mixture of elementary constructions and cohomological methods, uh, the candidate uh, make it difficult to read the text, but it is quite consistent with the ideology of Gully's descent. A construction of a ground field is a construction of an algebraic closure, which is invariant under the Gully's uh, group. As for pull back and push forward, And as for the translation of terminology, I admit that it is not uh, the most successful, but uh, was in some difficulty. The standard translations of the terms pull back and push forward as reverse image and forward image are overloaded with meanings, and they perceived rather as terms from shift uh, theory. The term transfer is also used in many different senses, and uh, Jason's homophones is ambiguous but more accepted in the context of algebraic topology. The floor is given to Nikolai Gardeev. I am not to read uh, out my uh, review, some remarks.
breakthrough algebra algebraic geometry there are, there are not so many people who uh, have mastered this technique it's a very difficult uh, thing 20 years ago I was greatly impressed I was an opponent Baldin I was impressed uh, that such an abstract technique worked successful in classical question concerning invariant. And here we observe uh, the effect when this technique allows to obtain specific results E7, E8. The results of uh, chapter three the results is uh, seven e eight uh, obtained in this dissertation are very interesting and it's uh, the it is an answer to these questions uh, the dissertation impressed me uh, a lot and Victor Alexandrovich deserves the degree of the doctor of physical and mathematical sciences Thank you. Uh, Victor, do you have any questions? There were no remarks in the feedback. Thank you. And now the, the floor is mine. Ah, uh, sorry, the floor is given to uh, Nikolai Alexandrovich. Uh, to a scientific advisor, I'm not going to repeat everything what has already been mentioned. Uh, I know Viktor Alexandrovich. Uh, I have known Viktor Alexandrovich since 1998. When he was a, a second year student, he wrote his first paper. I'm glad that today uh, the defense took place. Uh, his results are brilliant. His first student works. And then uh, they became the part of his candidate dissertations that they were of doctoral level. Then he invented generalizations of rudimentary uh, part group construction and he continued uh, to work in this uh, direction and uh, it added the content of his doctoral thesis uh, in the middle of 2000s he shifted to another topic in uh, 2005 he defended in 2006 uh, he defended the thesis on G, uh, invariant Billy Fieldy. At that time, he uh, could defend his doctoral uh, thesis. And he obtained uh, a lot of other uh, brilliant uh, results. Uh, you heard today. Indeed, general technology is very interesting for me. The most impressive was the application to exclusively uh, big groups. Every work is very interesting. You will see a lot of results in cooperation with with Nikita uh, Semenov theory six seven eight uh, nine. They uh, solve long uh, term uh, questions uh, stated by classics, for example, by Rost. Uh, 
uh, general split, splitting, um, uh, is of high interest for our uh, candidate. Say they broke on stratification. For the first time, they briefly wrote uh, TITS uh, described TITS classifications not only uh, fields but also for local rings. Victor, from my point of view, he is a brilliant uh, mathematician and one of the best specialists on broad uh, spectrum of questions theory of algebraic groups of homogeneous uh, spaces and so on. I'm glad that uh, the uh, defense took place. It uh, could uh, have happened uh, longer, uh, much earlier. Please, dear board members, support my candidate. As for And the sixth uh, board member, uh, what about you? Uh, there are six uh, board members in our... Sergey, uh, you did not... Uh, you have not voiced your review. In the written form, uh, it is placed on the website of St. Petersburg University, but you have not voiced your review. I am talking about you. Uh, please voice your review. Please be as brief as possible. The conclusive, uh, conclusive part of your dissertation. It is very long. Uh, of course, I am joking. Please, uh, do I have to read out the whole text in detail? No, it's not necessary. The results of the dissertation are, on, are accomplished on the high scientific level. They are published in uh, leading mathematical journals. Uh, all in all, there are uh, 13 articles in the Web of Science and Scopus, the dissertation conforms with the main requirements stated by the order procedure on awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And Alex, uh, Victor Petrov deserves uh, the degree of the Doctor of Mathematical and Physical Sciences, Specialization 115, uh, Mathematical Logic, Algebra, Number Theory, and Discrete Mathematics. I agree with my uh, colleagues. Uh, we don't have... Uh, negative uh, uh, reviews. It is the level of doctor of physical and uh, mathematical sciences or even higher. My congratulations uh, to Viktor Alexandrovich. Well, but it's early to congratulate him. We have to discuss and vote. And uh, Ivan Alexandrovich uh, did not uh, have uh, the floor. There are no questions. Sergey Vladimirovich, uh, uh, can I have the floor? There are no uh, external questions. Can I take part in the discussion according to the agenda? <laughs> there are no external reviews.
From my point of view, this dissertation is very brilliant and successful. I want to say the following thing. There is a part in the dissertation where concerning the modules of uh, bialgebra, uh, motive decomposition, it is know-how and it is this decomposition, this tool is a central part of the dissertation, theoretical part of the dissertation. And the fact that this decomposition is applied to specific statements about exclusively simple groups, it demonstrates the strength of these results. I want to say that I'm glad that uh, this uh, defense happened. Thank you. Uh, please uh, introduce yourself. Panin Ivan Alexandrovich, head of the Laboratory of Algebra and uh, Theory of Numbers, Sikov Mathematical Institute, uh, the Russian Academy on Sciences. And uh, our candidate works there part time. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, before the uh, voting, uh, we can declare the break to discuss the results of the defense. We don't need such a break. Let us continue to voting. It is a secret vote or open vote? It is an open roll call. It is an open roll call. No one leaves the hall. And what about our candidate? Uh, everyone is uh, here. Let us turn to uh, the open vote. Our candidate is it an open vote? I am raising 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 the question of awarding Victor Petrov the degree of Doctor of Physical and uh, Mathematical Sciences. On, the, on an open roll co uh, call, I am for every board member is for. Seven, no, not seven. Six board members are four.
there are six board members who have the right to vote. Six, six board members are for the awarding of the degree. Nikolai Alexandrovich, he is a scientific advisor. That's why he does not have the right to vote. There are no negative reviews. Is everyone for the voting of the degree? Yes, exactly. Six uh, board members voted for. No one against and no one abstained from vote. And the concluding remark of Viktor Petrov. I want to express my gratitude to uh, Nikolai Alexandrovich, my scientific advisor, and Ivan Alexandrovich. Then I, will, I would like to express my gratitude to all board members and uh, to everyone who supported me. Thank you very much. That's all. It means that the meeting is uh, declared closed. Uh, thank you for uh, participation. Please switch off the live broadcast. Our congratulations to the candidate. Mikhail Vladimirovich, what's your opinion? You are for Ivan Vladimirovich, what is your opinion? I support the opinion, I'm for. Then Alexander Ivanovich, I'm for. Nikola Leonidovich, 
Афо. Александр Сергеевич. Афо. The answer is positive. No negative results. Everything is okay. Thank you for your attention.